Dear alumni and friends, today I'm on the Fletcher balcony just outside my office, looking out over the Dell. I've been reflecting on what an extraordinary year this has been. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank the students, parents, faculty, staff, and alumni who supported our decision to have in-person learning on campus for this past academic year. And we'll do so again when the new school year begins on August 19th, just as we have done year after year for the last 115 years. The COVID pandemic could have been the proverbial straw that broke the camel's back, as indeed was the case for two women's colleges this year. But that was not going to happen to your college, Sweetbriar. With your unflinching support, we overcame the challenges of the pandemic and doubled down on solidifying the gains of the past years. With the wind behind our backs, we are poised for a great year ahead. We are ready for the future. The Southern Association of Colleges and Schools is the accreditation agency that reviews all our academic and managerial processes as documented in tens of thousands of pages presented every 10 years. Its acronym is SACS. SACS is impressed with Sweetbriar. While the process is not officially over until they meet as a board in December, I'm pleased to let you know that higher education's most exhaustive reaffirmation review finds us in an enviable place. In the fiscal year that just closed, we balanced our budget. We did so with frugality in spending, making strategic investments where needed, and through scrupulous management. Above all, this accomplishment was made possible through your support, which enabled us to address lost revenues from sources like the Elston Inn and summer programs during the pandemic, and to take on additional expenses such as our new and much needed health clinic. Your generosity has helped the college exceed our fundraising targets by a wide margin. Thank you. I also wanna share with you that as of today, the number of deposits for new students for the fall stands at 214. For the alumni among you, I don't know how big your first year class was, but this incoming class is our largest in over 10 years. The new students have their residence hall assignments and we are providing them with academic and orientation materials so that when they arrive on campus on August 14th, they will already feel much at home. As these new Sweetbriar women are finding out, Sweetbriar College is a distinctive place. It is distinctive in educating women in leadership, not any old leadership, but women's leadership. Leadership by people who know how to get things done, even when they don't have much power. Who know what it is like to leverage the power of others and collaborate. Who know what it is like to give credit and not always claim it. It is the leadership for the 21st century leadership the world needs. Sweetbriar is distinctive in providing the finest engineering education to talented women, some of whom may never have thought they could be engineers. We get them to the finish line as fresh minted engineers at the NASA Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena and other prestigious places. Sweetbriar is distinctive in parlaying its breathtaking landscape into courses and hands-on learning opportunities that teach students the primary importance of sustainability, sustaining oneself, sustaining one's family, sustaining our society, sustaining our environment and our future. Sweetbriar is distinctive in the arts created and performed in a setting that fuses the classroom with the beauty of the environment. Sweetbriar is also distinctive for its alumni and friends who take such pride in this place and do so much for it. I appreciate your many contributions and hope you can visit soon and see how the college is thriving. Later this month, the reunion classes return and the phenomenal Sweet Work Week will happen again 
with over 50 alumni expected to ready our campus for our students. I have my paintbrush and my overalls ready, and I'm looking so forward to welcoming you. Until then, let me thank you again for supporting this college in the past year, for investing in our vision for women's leadership, and above all, for believing that education of women is changing the world.